Nodfactor.com is in the premises of architecture. I'm Alchemist, holding it down. I hide my tears from the crowd by smiling. Chemical warfare, man. Um, it just it was like a good play on words, and to think chemical imbalance was already taken. And I was thinking of a bunch of chemical plays on words. Just uh, it wasn't literal, you know. It wasn't like I was turned on CNN and was like, man, you know, I gotta go against world chemical warfare. You know what I mean? And chicken flu. You know, I wasn't really inspired by anything current. It was more like a just play on words and a, uh, gave me a reason to go sample a bunch of funny shit, off, weird shit off of YouTube and uh, wrap a concept around an album that really did when you do a compilation album it's like how do you make sense out of something that doesn't really make sense I guess like uh, I'm gonna grab up Kooji Rap and I'm gonna grab 3-6 Mafia and I'm gonna grab Evidence and Eminem and I'm gonna put them on one album it's hard to make sense out of that so I feel like uh, when, you do, when I do like an album like this First Infantry Chemical Warfare was like just an excuse as far as the title is concerned to string a bunch of MCs together on a project that probably wouldn't have made sense otherwise. I guess the thing that makes sense of them is myself. So who are the people that uh, you've invited to the party? Um, I sent out a lot of invites to the party. Um, I requested RSVP. It's a couple of guys they didn't return to RSVP. So, um, you know, the party is smaller than was expected. But um, the, the guests that showed up to the party were excellent. It was an excellent string of guests. Um, Coogee Rap. I mean, I guess on this, on this go around, it was like, you know, I'd done First Infantry and um, worked with, you know, certain artists. Devin and Doom, uh, and, you know, uh, without going back into you know, the last. There was a lot of artists I worked on the last one. I felt on this one I wanted to venture out a little bit, you know. And, uh, so, uh, for, you know, Cool G Rap, uh, for example, was somebody I did work with on the Mob Deep album. And that was like an experience. That was, this was fucking Cool G Rap. And so I felt like now it's my time to do my album. I wanted to get with him, reach out to him. Uh, I got Lady of Rage on the album. I mean, these are just people who I love as artists. You know, I said, you know what, like, fuck, fuck, you know, making an album with all the hottest rappers right now. You know what I mean? It's like trying to put on the clothing that's hot right now. And you're gonna look at pictures of it later and go, damn, I was stuck in the fad. You know what I mean? So I felt like I'm gonna get with the rappers that are timeless to me. You know, KRS One. I mean, how could anybody say anything? You know, if you're young and you're watching this interview and you're saying, just kidding, I just want man, turn, t turn this interview off. You know what I mean? Like, switch. And that's how I feel. Or, you know, not to be just go do your history and find out. You know, so I was able to work with greats at the same time, work with artists like 3 Six Mafia, Juvenile, who I think some people wouldn't expect. Like, you know, why is Alchemist doing a record with 3 Six Mafia supposed to be, you know, in Queensbridge, you know? Doing records for you know, Prodigy's nephew, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really good. So I try to reach out a little bit, fuck with the people's heads a little bit, try some different things. You know, but I, overall, I, I love my cast. Like I look at my track listing and I, I'll put it up to anybody's track listing um, who makes similar types of albums like this. Like I look at theirs, not naming any names, and I look at mine and I'm like, yes. It's like we don't have the same artists. And it's not disrespect, it's just I'm comfortable with the, with the outfit I'm wearing, you know? Did you do all the production? Did you have any outside producers? Pretty much just bossed up and did all the beats. It felt like uh, this, is, this is what I do best. Like I rap very poorly, I'm a terrible rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry I have to put you guys through this. I'm going to have to sit through a couple verses, a couple stolen prodigy bars, you know? I mean, sorry, you know what I'm saying? But... Other than that, you know, the, my production is really, really my stamp. So I felt like I had a, you know, hog. I mean, there's so many great producers I could have. I mean, I'm a bigger fan of production probably than lyrics. So I mean, I could name a million producers who I would holler at had I, if I was Jada Kiss or an ex extremely talented MC. So, um, however, there's a bonus track on the album. For those of you that don't know, I actually have a group. More than a group, it's like a collaborative effort. Of me and my man Oh No from the West Coast. 
What's up, O? Whole Oxnard, Rock C, DJ Rones, you know, Mad Lib. I mean, he's brother of Lib, Lib's brother. I mean, those who know, know already, O knows the shit. And um, we have a collaboration called Gang Green. And uh, he did uh, the bonus track on the album. It's called uh, Under Siege. We got a video. Um, by the time this comes out, um, you'll probably have seen the video because it'll be dropping in a couple of days. So, Under Siege video. Some dumb shit. The birth of Gang Green. Coming soon. Um, he had another collab with um, Evidence. Yeah. Step Brothers. Talk about yeah. That a little bit. Um, I mean, those who know and follow Alchemist, you already know um, Michael Pareto. AKA Evidence, he's a really nice guy. He's just he's a pretty talented uh, rapping guy. Uh, he, he waters plants, uh, he's an environmental activist slash MC. Um, and him and myself have a group called Step Brothers, which I would say is more of a group than Gang Green. Gang Green is like me and O getting together and just making some disruptive, angry, wild rap. Me and Ev, I mean, basically went to high school together um, you know, we know more than we should about each other, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my brother for real, so that's why we call it Step Brothers. Plus, that movie is just something that inspired. We're just on some dumb shit, you know what I mean? And, uh, but me, him and myself, project is taking a little more time because I guess we know each other so well, so it's like, with O, it was like, uh, every record I threw at him was like a pitch and he was just knocking the shit out the park and vice versa. And so we got the music done fast for Gang Green. Step Brothers is taking a little more time. We're going to craft it. And when it's ready, we will serve it up properly. Stay tuned. He's doing good, man. Shout out to Prodigy, the whole family. Shout out to Kiki, Lil P, Tasia, and Shaka. Um, he's doing great, man. He's staying, keeping his head up. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Let's say that. You know, P is doing what he's supposed to do, staying healthy. He actually is more in tune with the current events. You know what I mean? Like, here, I'll bring y'all a piece of P right now if y'all miss him. I'm talking to P last week. I'm like, man, what you think about all this spine chicken flu? What you think about this swine flu, man? He said, man, he said, that shit ain't nothing but a conspiracy for motherfuckers to get flu shots. He said, don't sleep. He said, they just, it's a regular flu. They just, the industry is trying to get money off of flu shots. So it, there's P for you in a nutshell. Always still like, fuck that, this is a setup. You know what I mean? And once he said that, it made me think too, like, there might be some truth to that. You know what I mean? But uh, shout out to P. P's holding down, he's in tune, he's writing. We got some plans about some things we're gonna do when he comes home. Shout out to the whole mob, shout out to Havoc. No way. I wish I had a better word to say than shout. Give a shout. Big up. You know what I'm talking about, man. Your top five producers who rap. Right. Is this of all time? All time. Damn, that's tough, man. Well, I'm gonna say like this. My favorite one of all time. My fam in the jam. I'm dying first. Never to my last dollar. I'm grinding first.